I'm here on the Young Hollywood Sofa, joined by the lovely Maya Mitchell. How are you? I'm great. I, I was just saying, I saw you in an interview like a year ago, and you, you said how your passion for pugs, but you didn't have one. I didn't have one. And now you have one. And then after that interview, I thought about it, and I was like, well, I should just get one. I'm an adult. Yeah, you are. And then I got one, and I realized I'm really not an adult. Okay. So I got very overwhelmed, but now she's settled down, and, and we're good. We're cool. What's the pug's name? Sadie. Why did you pick Sadie? Um, because that was her name already. Okay. Um, but it was it was on my list of names too. And then I wanted a black pug called Sadie, and then I found her, and it just all worked out. What a coincidence! Mm -hmm. Look at that. Um, and now you shoot the Fosters, which is season two now. You shoot that in LA. So does Sadie come to set? Um, she's not allowed on the Warner Brothers set, but whenever we're on location, she'll okay. she'll come along with me. And your uh, your storylines in the Fosters have been quite. Uh, it's a challenging show, isn't it? It's a it's a like a roller coaster. You it go can through be. quite a lot. It can be. Yeah, I think especially the character. I get to play Callie. Um, she's yeah, she's had a really rough childhood and uh, and a really difficult upbringing, and so th there, that comes with a lot of kind of heavy storylines and, right, and, and right. things for her to kind of sort through. So yeah, it's it's really heavy. Um, it's a lot of crying, a lot of days when I go home and I don't have any tears left. Um, but no, it's fun. It's fun. It's it's enjoyable. I like it. I like drama. And that's that's kind of what I'm passionate about. So. Okay. Is there a, an episode in particular that sticks out as being one of the most challenging or even the most enjoyable for you? Yeah, there was an episode where uh, there's a death in the family. It's uh, Steph's father dies and so uh, my character has decided not to live with uh, the Fosters because she's having this relationship with, with Bran and one of the children and uh, she kind of has all of these memories of her mother's death and they all kind of come back to life and she kind of sees her mother's ghost and um, she kind of has a breakdown and, and realizes that a family is what's more important to her. And that was a huge episode for me. It was really heavy and uh, that's how you very just, emotional. You just told me right now, and that was like, <laughs> <sighs> this early in the morning, Breathe I think I'm going to okay, go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> we'll get Let's let that out. Happiness, happiness, I'm happiness. just a ray of sunshine. <laughs> oh, wow. Georgie's about to get, get in tears as well. I can't believe it. I can't believe Georgie's it. Georgie's moved for sure. Um, but it is, uh, you, you watch it on the screen, and it's such a tight-knit family. Is it like that on the set as well? It is, People. and I think that's why it comes across that that way. Right. Um, I know every show says that they are, but we, we really do feel like that and we try hard to, you know, meet up outside of, you know, working right. hours and we have this family dinner that we have like every Friday and oh. yeah, so it, it really is a close group and I love them a lot. And your fans love it, love the show. They're like hardcore committed fans. They are hardcore yeah. committed fans. I know it. Yeah, they <laughs> They're are. Awesome. They are. They're really, really cool. And uh, and yeah, we enjoy that a lot. Actually, it's been it helps scary but fun right, and right. weird and awesome. Yeah. yeah. Jennifer Lopez, executive producer. Yes. That must be quite cool. You know, the show. Is she is she hands on? Does she come and get involved? Yeah, she's been on set. Okay. Um, she's quite hands on. Uh, she's always talking about the show and promoting it, which is huge for us. Um, yeah, we. we we love her. <laughs> she's Everyone awesome. does. Yeah, I love her. I think, yeah, I mean, she's pretty it? successful. <laughs> Jenny from the block. Um, and another huge phenomenon is a Teen Beach movie. That right. was like, yeah, That, that did well. It, it did well. It did well. It did really it did well. well. Uh, yeah. yeah, lots of children recognise me on the street now, which is funny and Do they cute. expect you to just bust out a move? Yeah, or sing they or something? do. Yeah. I'm not a good dancer, okay. so. You, 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 you are. I, Don't be hard on yourself. I, I worked kind of hard at it, right. uh, and I'm sure they, they did a beautiful editing job uh, right. of me. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, yeah. And can you tell us much about what happens in the second one as opposed to the first um, one? Yeah, so basically, uh, the I can't tell you how, but the 60s characters uh, end up in uh, the modern modern reality, mm. and so we have to try and kind of get them home while they're in you know high school context, right. you know, freaking everyone out. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting stuff. I love that. See, keeping, keeping busy making moves. But yes. we've got the holidays coming up, which we were just talking about. Right. I'm going to Australia for a month. I'm just going to be off the grid and with my friends and family. And yeah, I'm excited. Any like traditions that you do or anything like that? What were you? Well, in Australia, it's it's really warm right. during the holidays. So um, all my friends are going to be home because that's like kind of our summer break. And so usually I meet up with some friends on Christmas or family and we'll go to the beach or like nice. have a barbecue or something like that. I always wondered when you live in a when you grow up in like a hot country where it's hot at Christmas, did it ever worry you about Santa coming down a chimney? Because you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't have that many chimneys if it's I mean, always. I feel like he has a summer outfit, no? I don't know. This is what I'm asking you. Like some you. red shorts with little. Oh, okay. You know? <laughs> never pictured no? Santa in red shorts. I'm sure some people have if they're into that sort my of bad, thing. But, my bad. but you never know. If you I was going to go to Australia tomorrow, where should I go and three things I should do? You should go to Byron Bay. 
because that's where I'm from. Okay. But it is actually beautiful. I'm okay. very okay. biased, but okay. you should definitely go there. Melbourne is my favourite city in the planet. Uh, it's really cool and there's like a lot of cool galleries and uh, shops and the culture is just really interesting there. Okay. And then I would say go to the Great Barrier Reef before it's all gone. Oh. Sorry, I'm such a downer. Oh. <laughs> can we start this again? Please, can we get some coffee bring or something? Me back, just, just to I can bring be it. fun. <laughs> um, you mentioned where you're from, um, which is a small. It is a small little town, right? Is that right? In in that it's area. It's a tiny little town. Tiny little town. Tiny little one. And your dad is a cabbie. Your dad and dad's is a cabbie. cabbie. And your mum's in. I mean, your mum's in education. So how did this happen? I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Still trying to figure it out. Still wondering how I got here. No, uh, we had a, an agent, surprisingly, in our small town, who I had gotten family I bet he was photos. So, Everyone probably thought you were so strange. This Such agent. a yeah. weirdo, yeah. Um, but no, we, we got family photos taken with this agency, uh, but that was it. And then they kind of, we bumped into them on the street because it is that small of a town. Right. And they remembered me and they were like, look, there's this audition for this show, you should do it. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, and I did it and I booked it and then kind of went from there. And I started working a little bit in Australia, but my parents were very, very strict about me staying in high school and right. uh, staying in our town. And As they should be. Yes. Uh, I, I'm thankful for it in hindsight, but it was enraging at the time. Uh, but yeah, no, so I had a pretty regular upbringing with like pockets of weird worky stuff. Right. Yeah. It's amazing. And, yeah. Now, and now look at it. Look at the story. That sounds like a Hollywood story in itself, it really. Does, it does, doesn't it? I'm just a cliche. Just a cliche. Just a typical just a, just a cliche. Typical cliche. Well, we've sold Australia anyway. There's going to be people flying okay, there, so, so that's it's good. Okay, so it's a success. All right. we, you got to tune into the Fosters, even though your hardcore fans already will be. <laughs> and we look forward to uh, Teen Beach Movie 2. Lovely, Maya Mitchell.